then you can see that it is predicting it as steep now let me just take elon okay so it is predicting as elon right it is working hi everyone uh, welcome back to one another project showcase video actually i was getting a lot of requests that please make a video on minor projects what it is and how to create a documentation and how to create a minor project and so th so i thought so why not just uh, take example of this smart cctv and i have already created actually video on this project but this time i have added two more features which is monitor and identify and uh, I will tell you how to run this project and how to prepare a documentation, how to prepare a PPT and all the code will be in down description uh, right over here. And from here you can get the report which is smartcctvreport.docx and there is a PowerPoint presentation which is smartcctv.odp and uh, so let's get started actually. So first of all, let us talk about the documentation. So i am just open this up okay so this is the documentation actually uh this this is the main content of of your uh documentation before this you should add up your uh college name and your role number your name and acknowledgement and uh, a lot of that stuff but this is the main content so first of all we have shown you uh, about the project and then sneak peek and then we have prepared a index where uh you should have to give technical details and your coding and then showing the use actual use uh, of the project and then future scopes of it and then references so you may just uh, check it out if you want any help regarding this you may just let me know in down comment section i will going to tell you now coming on to uh, presentation let me just open it all right so this is the presentation uh, in the front page you should have to add your college logo and your name and your role number and uh, this is the ppt you can uh, refer from this if you have any different project and if you want to get along with this smart cctv project you may just use this documentation and powerpoint presentation all right now come Coming on to uh, this project, in the later part of this video, I will tell you how to install it and run it in your PC. But for now, I will tell you how it works. So let's start from this record functionality. So once I click on this record button, it will going to start recording. So as you can see that it is now started to record. And if I go to my same directory and inside this recordings folder, there should be a saved dot uh, avi file if i open this then you should find um, that particular recording right so now let's move to the next part which is uh, next feature which is in and out detection basically it detects who entered in your room and gone out of your room and actually i have already created a project full uh, coding live coding video of this i will link it in that i, I button and in the description so let me just click on this and i'll show you how it works All right, so I have uh, went one uh, one time I gone to outside and next time I came inside. So you should have to go inside visitors folder and in and in the in you should get your entered image and the name should be uh, follow the structure of current date and time. And if you go to out, then you should get the image of your going out as i have gone and i have like demonstrated you that it is working right and now coming on to next feature which is noise let me just click on this all right so if i just move my hand and i start to move it will say motion and now if we are if you are still in the frame then it will say no motion as you have already seen now coming on to next feature which is rectangle if i click on the first time you will have to click uh left click on the starting position of rectangle and then right click on the ending position of rectangle. so if i uh, left click and right click over here and now if i move finger in that region particular region it will say in motion or in not in motion uh, actually it just defines the boundary and detect motion in that boundary now this is the uh, new feature which i have added to the previous project and this is identify so the moment i click on identify it will ask you to um, either you can add the member or start with known so actually let us first start with known 
and then I'll tell you how you can add the member. Okay, so I'll show you my terminal also over here. And the moment I click on start with known, and then you can see that I have added Elon and Steve and it will tell me as unknown and if I take Steve in the frame then you can see that it is predicting it as Steve now let me just take Elon okay so it is predicting as Elon right it is working the main uh, idea behind it is working so if you want to add the member you can just click on add and come on to terminal enter the name of the person let's say Mark this time we'll add Mark Zuckerberg and click enter and now give the ID current consumed IDs are 0 and 1 so this time we will add 2 because 0 is for um, Elon and 1 is for Steve Jobs and now we will assign ID 2 to mark and let's click enter and now it will start capturing the images of your um, subject now once it captures the enough amount of images in this case it's 300 it will uh, train the model and save the file called um, model.yml and save the file and now it is everything is fine now if i click start with known then you can see that we have three members in the dictionary and now if i just start with that you can see that it is predicting as mark right it is working all right so this was about identification and next feature i have added to the previous project smart cctv project which is monitor this is my favorite so i will just demonstrate you wait a minute so if i click on monitor it will going to capture the initial frame all right so uh, i don't know if you would be able to listen that sound of ding and um, what i have done i have clicked on monitor and it will uh, capture a blank frame so there should be no movement everything should be still for two seconds and then after two seconds it will start doing its work and after two seconds i entered in the frame and uh, take out that speaker from the frame and it has detected that speaker gone out of the frame and it has um, alerted with the sound of ding and it's shown what is stolen so if i click escape and now go back to the folder and coming on to stolen folder then you can see that we have the image of whatever which is stolen and uh, again the current uh, format of saving the image is current date and current time all right so this was all about all the features and if you click on this button it will, go, it will get out of the uh, our our application so now let's move to the next chapter of this video how to install and run it in your pc so first of all go to description you will find this link plus if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please make sure please subscribe and uh, like this video also and once you come over here um, you may just give this repost star if you like my work and now you can just click on this green button which is code click on this and you can download zip or either say git clone this link if you are just new to github just download the zip once you click on this new zip file will uh, come to download okay so if you click ok a new zip file will be downloaded and if you extract everything will look exactly like this okay so now open the terminal in the same window let me just open once you open the terminal in the same window then you should have a file called main.py so for that you just have to say python main.py the moment you click enter after writing this command uh, this will appear if this is not appearing and you are getting some type of error over here you may just copy that error and paste it in the comment section if i know the solution about it i will let you know otherwise if anyone else knows the solution about it please let them know so that was all about this project and i hope you like this project and in the upcoming videos i will going to uh, create videos on creating these little little features and at last we will use kinter to combine all these features and to create this project 
and now a lot of questions i get is this a machine learning project actually no this is a plain open cv project and yeah that is it if you want to make this machine learning project you may just add up more functionality which uses machine learning such as gun detection and um, you may just use yolo model to detect for objects and like you know a lot of stuff is there which you can just add to this project so this was all about this project and this video and if you like this video make sure give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and uh, in the upcoming videos as i already said we are going to code this all project so bye